Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Today, we're going to be taking our first look at the Corsair H105. Now, I'm not allowed to do a full review yet because there's still an NDA until the 21st of January. I'm not sure whether I meant to have told you it's the 21st of January, but anyway. But I am allowed to show you the product uh, as long as I don't really talk to you about performance and stuff. It's just like with the motherboard previews and stuff that we did uh, previously. So uh, around the 21st of January, you will get to see the full review of this and the uh, One Direction case for those of the regulars that they were on about or what's more popularly known as the 250D. Um, also, don't panic. I am in a uh, strains position because we are. this is the first video I've made in the temp office, which is my front room while the um, uh, new office is being redecorated and all that kind of mean fandango. But I'm going to shut up and I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. Right in peoples. So you can see this is still plastic film wrapped. I've actually not opened this yet at all. Um, I've only seen pictures and stuff online just like the rest of you. So we're going to experience breaking the seal, taking its virginity, however the bloody hell you want to call it, together. And oh, soups you, sir. That plastic isn't half tight. Mm, that's what she said. Anyway, so that's that gone. There's another sticker there, or there would have been, but I've already gone through it. So we're going to uh, pop the old girl open just for our uh, first look. And it's a bit like um, Russian dolls. It's just like stuff within stuff within stuff. Now, thing to kind of point out when we get this far is it's pretty much the laid out the same as uh, all of the Corsair H series. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm, it's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world, but I'm just going to bloody rip it to bits in front of you. In fact, I might as well just start pulling it all out and we'll do it all nicely in a minute. So I think that's all of it. Right, so we'll get that out of the way and then we, uh, We'll start with the main thing, and this is the main point about this radiator, is the thickness of this, because the uh, H100i or the uh, H110, they're all about 25 to 27 millimetres thick. And this one is 38 millimetres thick. It's a fairly, do you know what I mean, it's pretty much the difference between a white man and a black man going on there, real, a very well-blessed white man anyway. Um, I, that wasn't meant as a racist comment before people go, it's just that we all know that yeah, we know what I'm saying, it's not meant to be offensive. Anyway, so we've got a 38mm thick radiator. What we can show you is uh, the new mount on the, because uh, this is an, an Acetec OEM branded unit. Uh, it's a Corsair unit, but this is one of the ones that Acetec make. Now, the mount, you don't have to screw on or mess around with any plates or anything anymore. It literally just screws down in place and uh, it's so much easier to work with. We saw this for the first time on the uh, H75 and it's lovely. It also looks like this does light up as well, which for the, it could be the first one that we've seen from Corsair, from Acetec, the lights up. And also, I'm not sure if I can get hold of it with my fingernails, I don't think I can, but this little disc uh, on the top can be changed. I'm just going to grab them from the uh, the packet. There are replacement discs and there are uh, blue and a red replacement ring there that you can fit over the top. Now you can see that this is a, an Intel fitment on here but we have also got um, AMD brackets and all the other sort. It, it does support all of the major sockets. So 775, 1366, 1156, 1155, 1150, 2011, and then all of the AMD sockets as well, they're all pretty much identical anyway. So it does support all of those, and it's definitely, well, we would assume that it's got enough cooling capacity for all of them as well, but we will find that out during testing. Um, so if you were to have, this is 38 millimeters thick, and obviously your fans, and this does come with the SP120L versions of the fans. Now these have got quite a wide RPM range uh, compared to like the SP120 Quiet and Performance Editions. This almost does the same sort of fan speeds as both. But anyway, you don't get the uh, the click click different rings that you do with the um, the uh, SP120s that you can buy across the counter. But if you were to put the um, uh, a 25 millimeter fan, this is standard width fan onto the 38 millimeter radiator, 
you get 63 millimeters. So if you were considering purchasing this, you need to make sure you've either got 40 mil above your motherboard and be able to put your fans outside your case. I would have hoped that that doesn't mean that the fans are gonna be on the outside of your case. I mean like outside your case, like for example, with the NZXT switch, where you've got a separate place that you can put them. Or you need a good 65 millimeters above your motherboard if you're going to have this all internally. So, you know, just keep those two in mind. The numbers that you really need to remember is 40 for the rad, give or take, because there's obviously two mil in it, but 40 for the rad, and then 65 if you're gonna do the rad and the, the fan. So just keep that in mind. If you look through the case reviews that I've done in, in the past, I always give you distances above the motherboard as well, so you'll be able to know whether this will support your, your case. Um, in, the, uh, in the little box of tricks, we have, uh, we have uh, a splitter to go from one PWM to two PWM. So it is a four pin PWM splitter, good for motherboards and fan speed adjustment and stuff like that. The fans that come with the, uh, this actually are the PWN SP120L, so that's a nice thing. Uh, it's got a back plate in there and then all the mounts and stuff that you're gonna need for your screws. It's all pretty, uh, you know, normal run of the mill Corsair bolting, easy peasy sort of stuff. So, that's really it. The main thing is, is like I said, is you're gonna to wanna to have a look at this. Uh, I suppose the other thing to kind of mention uh, is, if I get this, because I'm trying not to ruin the thermal paste, that's another thing to mention, it does come with pre-applied thermal paste. So you don't necessarily need to uh, replace this, but um, I, through force of habit, no matter whether it's a Corsair unit or any other branded unit, I always tend to replace this and put my own on there. There's no other reason than just a bit of OCD going on. And anyway, um, so we've got that. The uh, this is the the power. Now I always, always with these fixed power um, connectors, it has got a three pin, so you could connect it to your motherboard. But I nearly, well, I always plumb these into direct from the Molex. So I put a full 12 volt from it. I've never noticed one of these units that's ever been loud enough that you can never notice it. I certainly don't like having these so that you can spin the pump down and spin it back up, but that's personal choice. So if you were to ask me how I would do it, I would say that needs to go onto a Molex and be powered direct. Also with this, as you'll see, because it's an Acetec unit, it's got no connection for um, Corsair Link. So unlike the H100i, where you can link it up to your motherboard and see speeds and adjust fans and all that type of thing, this is all separate. So this goes into a Molex or, you know, this needs to get powered. And then your fans also need separate powering and you'll need to run programs and stuff to see temperatures and fan speeds and things like that. It's, you know, you're not gonna be able to link this up with your Corsair Link software if you've got, you know, like um, a power supply or even one of the Corsair Link boxes, this won't, you know, all hook up with it. So, lads and lassies, that really is about it. That's our first look at the Corsair H105. I'm thoroughly looking forward to uh, getting this tested and seeing how well it performs. Obviously, like I said, I'm not allowed to tell you how it performs, but I've only just opened the bloody box. Uh, but uh, through... Um, what I would expect to be telling you, because it's thicker, I would expect it to be able to possibly dissipate more heat. Uh, not necessarily lower your overall temperatures, but it could possibly dissipate a little bit more heat. So if your CPU is a little bit hotter, um, it may be able to do that. Also, the other thing, the, what normally happens with these sort of radiators is you can run your fans on a slightly lower RPM and still keep your temperatures. That's normally the way it kind of swings. But we will have to see. I'm quite looking forward to getting this in because it's been a long time since I've done a heatsink review on the OC3D channel. Um, but I will be back when I'm allowed to uh, give you all the numbers and I have finished testing it. So without further ado, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out. <laughs> Close my eyes at night and hope that I will dream To get me out this place and onto better things Because I tried so hard and got so far to let this slip away And I refuse to let someone put out my flame You gotta drive my charger